20 famous people became homeless. You'd never recognize today. Welcome back to the Famous People channel. Today, we're exploring the stories of 20 celebrities who once experienced homelessness. This serves as a powerful reminder that achieving success and fame doesn't protect anyone from going through tough times. Let's get started. Jim Carrey Jim Carrey, celebrated as a multifaceted Canadian-American talent, encompasses the roles of an actor, comedian, and writer, and was born on January 17, 1962, in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. His rise to fame in the 1990s was marked by his dynamic and exuberant performances in a series of successful comedies including Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber. These roles not only cemented his status as an icon of comedy, but also showcased his unique style of humor and remarkable physical comedy. Beyond his comedic prowess, Carey has demonstrated considerable versatility as an actor, taking on more serious and dramatic roles in critically acclaimed films such as The Truman Show and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. His performances in these films have been praised for their depth and sensitivity, showcasing a different facet of his talent and earning him widespread acclaim. Despite reaching significant heights in his career, Carey's personal life has been touched by adversity, including his battles with depression. He also faced profound grief following the loss of his ex-girlfriend, Catriona White, who passed away by suicide in 2015. These experiences have undoubtedly shaped him, both personally and professionally. Now at the age of 62, Jim Carrey continues to be a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, captivating audiences with his inimitable brand of comedy. In addition to his acting career, Carey has explored other artistic avenues and has become an outspoken advocate for mental health awareness, leveraging his platform to support and inspire others facing similar challenges. His journey reflects not only his immense talent, but also his resilience and commitment to making a difference in the world through his art and advocacy. Lonnie Willison Lonnie Willison, formerly known as a prominent American model and fitness enthusiast, was born on January 25, 1983. During the early 2000s, she captured the public's attention and admiration through her successful modeling career, featuring in numerous publications and advertising campaigns. Her work highlighted not only her striking beauty, but also her commitment to athleticism and fitness, making her a well-recognized face in the industry. Despite her early career achievements and the fame that came with them, Willison's life took a dramatic and tragic turn. She began to face severe personal struggles, including homelessness and issues with substance abuse. These challenges starkly contrasted her previous life in the spotlight, illustrating a profound fall from grace. Recent sightings have revealed Willison living on the streets of Los Angeles, a situation that starkly contrasts with her past life of glamour and public adoration. Now at the age of 40, Lonnie Willison's circumstances serve as a powerful and heart-wrenching reminder of the unpredictable nature of life and the profound struggles that can affect anyone, irrespective of their past successes or societal status. Her story brings to the forefront the urgent need for mental health awareness and the development of stronger support systems to aid those in distress. It emphasizes the necessity for a societal approach that is imbued with compassion and understanding, recognizing the dignity and humanity of every individual, especially those who find themselves facing hardships. Willison's journey is a call to action, highlighting the need for societal empathy and the importance of offering support and assistance to those who are most in need. Wesley Snipes Wesley Snipes, an acclaimed American actor, film producer, and martial artist, was born on July 31, 1962, in Orlando, Florida. He first made a name for himself with standout roles in action-packed films such as Blade, New Jack City, and Demolition Man. 
These films not only showcased his remarkable martial arts abilities, but also highlighted his strong presence on screen. Over the years, Snipes has achieved both critical and commercial success, garnering various awards and nominations for his compelling performances. However, Snipes' career faced significant challenges in the early 2000s due to legal issues, including charges of tax evasion. These troubles culminated in his imprisonment from 2010 to 2013. Despite this difficult period, Snipes has made a notable comeback in the entertainment industry, continuing to act in both films and television series. Additionally, he has broadened his professional scope by venturing into producing and directing. Now at the age of 61, Wesley Snipes persists in making a significant impact in the world of entertainment, showcasing his enduring talent and dedication to his craft. His ability to overcome personal and legal challenges and continue to evolve in his career is a testament to his resilience and passion for the arts. Danny Bonaduce Danny Bonaduce is an American television personality, actor, and radio host, born on August 13, 1959, in Broomall, Pennsylvania. He catapulted to fame as a child star in the early 1970s, most notably for his role as Danny Partridge on the hit TV show The Partridge Family. This role showcased his charismatic presence on screen and established him as a familiar face in American households. Despite the early success and the fame it brought, Bonaduce's life post, The Partridge Family, was fraught with challenges. He encountered personal struggles, including battles with substance abuse and legal issues, which often overshadowed his early achievements in the entertainment industry. These struggles were widely publicized, contributing to a complex public persona. In the face of these difficulties, Bonaduce demonstrated remarkable resilience. He transitioned into radio, where he found a new avenue for his talents, becoming a popular radio show host. Additionally, Bonaduce ventured into reality television and stand-up comedy, further diversifying his career. Through these mediums, he shared his experiences and battles with addiction, offering insights into his journey toward recovery. Now at the age of 64, Danny Bonaduce has reflected on his tumultuous past with candor and humor, contributing to a broader understanding of the challenges faced by child stars transitioning into adult roles in the entertainment industry. His career, marked by both significant challenges and noteworthy comebacks, illustrates the complexities of fame and personal growth in the public eye. Todd Bridges Todd Bridges, an American actor born on May 27, 1965 in San Francisco, California, rose to fame for his role as Willis Jackson on the beloved television sitcom Different Strokes, which aired from 1978 to 1986. His portrayal of the older brother in a racially blended family played a significant part in the show's success, turning him into a well-known figure across American households. Despite achieving early success, Bridges encountered personal challenges, including struggles with addiction and legal issues. He has been candid about his battles with substance abuse, sharing his journey towards overcoming these obstacles. Throughout his career, Bridges has remained active in the entertainment industry, taking part in a variety of television shows and films. Beyond his acting career, he has dedicated himself to advocating for addiction recovery and mental health awareness, leveraging his personal experiences to help others. Now at the age of 58, Todd Bridges continues to share his powerful story of resilience and redemption. He remains committed to his acting career, all while helping to raise awareness and support for those dealing with similar issues of addiction and mental health. Bridges' ongoing efforts to use his platform for positive change highlight his passion and dedication, both to his craft and to making a meaningful difference in the lives of others. Randy Quaid Randy Quaid, an acclaimed American actor born on October 1, 1950 in Houston, Texas, is celebrated for his dynamic range and memorable performances in a variety of films. His work in The Last Detail, 
National Lampoon's Vacation, and Brokeback Mountain showcases Quaid's versatility and natural charisma, earning him widespread recognition and critical acclaim within the Hollywood community. Despite his professional achievements, Quaid's career took a tumultuous turn in the late 2000s due to legal entanglements and personal issues. He and his wife, Evie Quaid, found themselves at the center of controversy, facing charges related to burglary and allegations of trespassing. These legal challenges prompted Quaid to seek refuge in Canada, embarking on a self-imposed exile. During this time, he voiced concerns about being targeted by what he termed Hollywood star whackers, a claim that added to the intrigue and complexity of his situation. After a period in Canada, Quaid made the decision to return to the United States, where he resumed his career in acting. Now, at the age of 73, Randy Quaid continues to navigate the intricate landscape of fame and personal adversity. He remains determined to surmount the challenges he has faced, persisting in his efforts to contribute to the entertainment industry and to share his talents with the world. Through it all, Quaid's journey underscores the resilience required to overcome the unpredictability and pressures of life in the public eye. Leif Garrett Leif Garrett, an American entertainer born on November 8, 1961, in Hollywood, California, emerged as a teen idol in the 1970s. He captivated audiences with his dual success as both a singer, delivering hit songs like I Was Made For Dancing," and an actor, with notable roles in films such as The Outsiders and Kid Vengeance. Garrett's appealing charm and evident talent quickly propelled him to stardom, making him a beloved figure among fans. Despite his professional achievements, Garrett's career was significantly impacted by personal issues, including struggles with substance abuse and legal troubles. Over the years, he faced numerous arrests and underwent several stints in rehabilitation facilities, which highlighted the challenges he faced offstage and outside the recording studio. In the face of these difficulties, Garrett has persevered in the entertainment industry. He has continued to make appearances in various television shows and films, and has released music sporadically, showcasing his resilience and ongoing commitment to his craft. Now at the age of 62, Leif Garrett reflects on his tumultuous past with a focus on rebuilding his career and personal life. His journey exemplifies the complexities of navigating fame and personal turmoil, as well as the possibility of growth and redemption beyond the public eye. Brett Butler. Brett Butler. An American actress and comedian born on January 30, 1958, in Montgomery, Alabama, rose to prominence through her leading role in the popular sitcom Grace Under Fire, which ran from 1993 to 1998. In the show, Butler played a single mother, navigating the complexities of work and family life, a portrayal that struck a chord with audiences and significantly boosted her career. Her performance in Grace Under Fire not only showcased her talent but also made her a household name. Despite her professional success, Butler faced considerable personal challenges, including struggles with substance abuse and mental health issues. These difficulties contributed to tension on the set of Grace Under Fire and were factors in the eventual cancellation of the series. These setbacks, however, did not halt Butler's career in the entertainment industry. She persisted, making appearances in a variety of television shows and films. Butler has also been candid about her personal struggles, sharing her experiences and efforts to overcome them. Now, at the age of 66, she reflects on her tumultuous past with a sense of resilience. Brett Butler continues to follow her passion for acting and comedy demonstrating her dedication to her craft and her determination to move forward despite the obstacles she has encountered. Mindy McCready Mindy McCready was a celebrated American country music singer born on November 30, 1975, in Fort Myers, Florida. She burst onto the music scene in the mid-1990s with her debut album, 10,000 Angels, 
which featured several hit singles and catapulted her to stardom in the country music world. McCready's career, while marked by significant success, was also riddled with controversy, including struggles with substance abuse, legal issues, and tumultuous personal relationships. Despite her undeniable talent and early accomplishments, McCready faced a series of challenges throughout her life, struggling with addiction and mental health issues. Her life came to a tragic end on February 17, 2013, when she died at the age of 37 from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Mindy McCready's story is a poignant reminder of the often complex nature of fame and the difficulties encountered by those in the spotlight. Her journey through triumphs and hardships reflects the broader challenges faced by many in the entertainment industry. McCready's untimely death was a sorrowful end to a life that had seen both remarkable achievements and profound struggles, highlighting the importance of support and understanding for those dealing with similar issues. Amanda Peterson Amanda Peterson, born on July 8, 1971, in Greeley, Colorado, was an American actress who rose to fame with her role as Cindy Mancini in the beloved 1987 comedy film Can't Buy Me Love, starring opposite Patrick Dempsey. Her performance in the movie brought her widespread recognition, marking her as a promising talent in Hollywood. Despite this early success, Peterson's career did not maintain the momentum gained from Can't Buy Me Love. She took on roles in a few more films and television shows, but eventually decided to step back from acting to concentrate on her personal life. Peterson's life, however, was marred by personal challenges, including struggles with substance abuse and mental health issues. Tragically, on July 3, 2015, she was found deceased in her home in Colorado at the age of 43. The cause of her death was determined to be an accidental overdose of multiple drugs, underscoring the severe impact that substance abuse had on her life and career. Peterson's untimely death serves as a poignant reminder of the often hidden struggles faced by those in the entertainment industry and the devastating effects of addiction. Marvin Gaye Marvin Gaye, an emblematic figure in American music history, was born on April 2, 1939, in Washington, D.C. He ascended to fame as one of the foremost soul artists, leaving an indelible mark on the genre with a career that spanned several decades. Gaye's distinctive, smooth, and emotive voice, combined with his deeply meaningful lyrics and innovative musical style, garnered him widespread acclaim and enduring recognition. Throughout his career, Gay navigated a series of personal and professional adversities, including battles with addiction and tumultuous personal relationships. Despite these hurdles, he continued to create groundbreaking music that not only entertained but also tackled significant social and political issues of his time, including civil rights and opposition to the Vietnam War. Tragically, Marvin Gaye's life came to a premature end on April 1, 1984, just one day before his 45th birthday, when he was fatally shot by his father, Marvin Gaye Sr., during a dispute in their Los Angeles home. His death was a profound loss to the world of music, but his legacy endures. Marvin Gaye's timeless music and his influence on successive generations of artists continue to celebrate his contributions to the industry and society at large, underscoring the lasting impact of his talent and vision. John Drew Barrymore John Drew Barrymore, born into the prestigious Barrymore acting dynasty on June 4, 1932 in Los Angeles, California, had a lineage filled with celebrated actors, including his parents, John Barrymore and Dolores Costello, as well as his aunt and uncle Lionel and Ethel Barrymore. Despite this illustrious background, John Drew found it challenging to carve out his own niche and emerge from the shadows of his renowned relatives. He did achieve recognition for his performances in films such as While the City Sleeps and High Lonesome. However, Barrymore's career was frequently undermined by personal issues, 
including alcoholism and legal troubles. These difficulties often resulted in conflicts with directors and producers making it hard for him to secure consistent work in Hollywood. John Drew Barrymore's life was a tumultuous journey marked by struggles and instability. He passed away on November 29, 2004, at the age of 72, due to liver cancer. His passing was a mournful end to a life that, despite its potential and moments of brilliance, was largely overshadowed by the immense pressure of living up to his family's legacy and his own personal demons. Corey Haim Corey Haim, a Canadian actor born on December 23, 1971 in Toronto, Ontario, captured hearts as a teen idol in the 1980s with his roles in hit films like The Lost Boys, Lucas, and License to Drive. His endearing personality and youthful charm made him a global sensation, securing his status as one of the era's most sought-after young actors. Despite his successful career, Haim's life was marred by personal challenges, including battles with substance abuse and mental health issues. Though he made several attempts at rehabilitation and experienced intermittent successes in his acting career, Haim continued to encounter obstacles and setbacks. Tragically, Corey Haim passed away on March 10, 2010, at the young age of 38. His death was attributed to pneumonia, complicated by an enlarged heart and arteriosclerosis, conditions that underscore the severe physical toll of his struggles. Haim's untimely passing serves as a poignant reminder of the often overlooked dark side of fame and the devastating impact of addiction on talented individuals, leaving a lasting legacy that reminds us of the importance of support and understanding for those dealing with similar issues. Erin Moran Erin Moran, an American actress born on October 18, 1960, in Burbank, California, rose to fame for her role as Joni Cunningham on the beloved television sitcom Happy Days, which aired from 1974 to 1984. Her portrayal of the vivacious younger sister to Richie Cunningham captured the hearts of audiences, making her a familiar face in homes across America. After the conclusion of Happy Days, Moran faced difficulties in sustaining the momentum of her early career. She made occasional guest appearances on various television shows and took roles in low-budget films, but these efforts did not replicate the success she had previously enjoyed. Beyond her professional challenges, Moran encountered personal difficulties, including financial instability and struggles with substance abuse. Tragically, on April 22, 2017, Erin Moran was found dead in her home in New Salisbury, Indiana, at the age of 56. The cause of her death was later identified as complications related to stage 4 squamous cell carcinoma of the throat. Moran's passing was a somber conclusion to a life that, despite its early promise and success, was marred by the trials that often accompany fame and the personal battles she fought away from the public eye. Her story is a poignant reminder of the complexities that lie behind the glamour of the entertainment industry. Gary Coleman Gary Coleman, an American actor born on February 8, 1968 in Zion, Illinois, achieved fame for his role as Arnold Jackson on the beloved television sitcom Different Strokes, which aired from 1978 to 1986. His portrayal of the wise and charming Arnold made him a favorite among audiences worldwide and solidified his status as a cultural icon. Despite his success on the show, Coleman encountered several personal and financial difficulties in his later life. He battled health issues, including a kidney disease that stunted his growth and necessitated numerous surgeries. Moreover, Coleman faced legal disputes with his parents and former business managers regarding the mismanagement of his earnings from different strokes. Gary Coleman's life came to a tragic end on May 28, 2010, at the age of 42, after he suffered an intracranial hemorrhage caused by a fall at his home in Santa Quin, Utah. His premature death concluded a life that, while marked by significant achievements, was also riddled with challenges. 
Coleman's legacy remains as a reminder of the complexities of childhood fame and the importance of navigating the transition to adulthood with care and support. Lisa Robin Kelly Lisa Robin Kelly, an American actress born on March 5, 1970 in Southington, Connecticut, found fame through her role as Lori Foreman, the older sister of Eric Foreman, on the popular television sitcom That 70s Show, which aired from 1998 to 2006. Her portrayal of Lori garnered her widespread recognition and endeared her to fans, making her a well-liked figure among the show's audience. Despite the success she experienced on the show, Kelly's career was overshadowed by personal difficulties, including struggles with substance abuse and legal problems. She encountered multiple arrests related to alcohol-related incidents and sought treatment for addiction in rehabilitation facilities. Tragically, Lisa Robin Kelly passed away on August 15, 2013, at the age of 43, in a rehab facility in Los Angeles, California. The cause of her death was determined to be multiple drug intoxication involving alcohol and unspecified drugs. Her premature death was a sorrowful end to a life that had shown both great talent and significant personal struggles, highlighting the harsh realities faced by some in the entertainment industry. Jan Michael Vincent Jan Michael Vincent, an American actor born on July 15, 1944 in Denver, Colorado, achieved fame through his role as helicopter pilot Stringfellow Hawk in the action-packed television series Airwolf, which aired from 1984 to 1986. Vincent's compelling portrayal of the courageous pilot won over audiences and established him as a prominent figure in Hollywood. Despite his early success, Vincent's career was marred by personal difficulties, Notably, his battles with substance abuse and legal problems. His struggles with alcohol and drugs resulted in numerous arrests and several attempts at rehabilitation. Tragically, Jan Mikkel Vincent passed away on February 10, 2019, at the age of 74, in Asheville, North Carolina. His death was caused by cardiac arrest, which arose from complications related to a long-standing illness. Vincent's passing closed the chapter on a life that, while marked by significant professional achievements, was also deeply affected by personal and health challenges. Dana Plato Dana Plato, an American actress born on November 7, 1964, in Maywood, California, became widely recognized for her role as Kimberly Drummond on the beloved television sitcom Different Strokes, which aired from 1978 to 1986. Her portrayal of the compassionate and innocent Kimberly captured the hearts of viewers, making her an endearing figure in the entertainment industry during the 1980s. Despite the success she experienced early on, Plato faced considerable obstacles in advancing her career after the conclusion of Different Strokes. She encountered personal hurdles, including struggles with substance abuse and financial instability. Additionally, Plato's life was further complicated by legal issues, including arrests for robbery and forging prescriptions. Tragically, Dana Plato passed away on May 8, 1999, at the age of 34 in Moore, Oklahoma. Her death was attributed to an accidental overdose of prescription drugs. This premature end to her life marked the close of a journey that, while it included professional acclaim, was also deeply troubled by the pressures of fame and personal battles. Plato's story serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities and challenges that can accompany life in the spotlight. Margot Kidder Margot Kidder the Canadian-American actress, renowned for her role as Lois Lane in the Superman film series alongside Christopher Reeve. Margot Kidder, born on October 17, 1948, in Yellowknife Northwest Territories, Canada, captured the hearts of audiences with her charismatic and spirited portrayal of the fearless reporter, becoming a beloved figure in Hollywood and around the world. 
Despite her considerable success, Kidder's career encountered obstacles as she faced personal challenges, including struggles with bipolar disorder. These struggles led to periods of instability and made it difficult for her to find steady work in the industry. Margot Kidder passed away on May 13, 2018, at the age of 69 in Livingston, Montana. The cause of her death was ruled as a result of a self-inflicted drug and alcohol overdose. Kidder's tragic passing underscores the profound challenges faced by individuals battling mental health issues and marks the end of a life that, while filled with notable achievements, was also marked by significant personal battles. Her legacy, however, lives on through her memorable performances and serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of understanding and addressing mental health challenges. Aaron Carter Aaron Carter, born on December 7, 1987 in Tampa, Florida, captured the hearts of fans worldwide as a child pop sensation in the late 1990s and early 2000s. With hit singles like Aaron's Party, Come Get It, and I Want Candy, Carter's youthful charm and infectious tunes made him a favorite among young listeners, establishing him as a prominent figure in the music scene. However, as he grew older, Carter faced significant hurdles in his career and personal life. He struggled with substance abuse and mental health issues, which were further complicated by legal troubles, including arrests for DUI and drug-related offenses. Tragically, Aaron Carter passed away on November 5, 2022, at the young age of 34. His death was attributed to drowning after inhaling defluoroethane, a propellant used in air duster cans, and taking alprazolam, the generic form of Xanax. Carter's untimely passing is a somber reminder of the challenges that fame can bring, as well as the importance of addressing mental health and substance abuse issues. Thank you for watching the entire video on The Famous People channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth content. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to sharing more intriguing stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.